Today, uh, we're playing uh, Tomb Raider on the PC. Specifically, we're playing it on my Vista machine. I kind of gave up on this game uh, with my XP machine because uh, it played just fine, but it wouldn't support the sound hardware, and so I didn't get any sound with the game, which took away a good deal of the fun, and I doubt that the Vista would play it at all. But I'm playing it under DOSBox, which is an emulator uh, to uh, play DOS games on uh, with XP or with Vista. And uh, it's playing pretty good here. Uh, not sure that the aspect ratio here is quite right because uh, DOSBox uses its own codec to, uh, to save the file. You, and, uh, Pinnacle won't recognize that, so I've had to load this into Windows Movie Maker and publish it, and then load the Windows Movie Maker file into Pinnacle. Uh, might give up on that later on and use uh, Movie Maker, but I'm used to Pinnacle, and it's just a pain to switch back to uh, Windows Movie Maker, so this is probably close enough that I'll stick with this method. Uh, this is the I reckon this is the first 3D, well, other than something like Zaxxon, which was, you know, sort of, kind of 3D perspective. This is the first really 3D game that I got. I got it when I got my first 3D card uh, for my PC, which is kind of ironic considering that this uses uh, software for the 3D and you don't really need a, a good 3D card to run it. Uh, so, you know, this was the first, you know, 3D third person or, for that matter, first person shooter that I've ever played with. A lot of people don't like the keyboard controls on the PC on this for this game, uh, mainly because they're used to, to more standard control setup. Well, I, I don't really have a problem with them, uh, but that's because, you know, I mainly, this is one of the few games that I play on the PC, you know. Uh, third-person shooter games, so I'm just pretty much used to it. But, uh, had a great deal of fun with this game. Uh, I haven't ever finished it. I'm stuck on one of the later levels. And I don't know if I'll ever get past it. I might get a cheat guide somewhere and to help me finish it. But uh, it's a lot of fun going back and playing the early uh, our levels, seeing you know. Whether you want to go through quick or whether you want to explore and get everything you can. So, to me, this has a lot of replay value. Of course, being a guy, you know, walking around behind uh, Laura Croft, that isn't the worst time, to, worst way to spend your time. But having a lot of fun with this uh, game today, and uh, hope you're enjoying this walkthrough. Oh yeah, uh, be, uh, before I leave you, I'm going to give you one tip. Uh, when I uh, try, uh, do as I said, DOSBox, uh, when it records a movie, it uses its own codec. Uh, and during the installation, it puts an entry in the start menu to install the codec. Uh, I kept getting an error, it wouldn't work. Uh, couldn't copy, said couldn't copy the file when I clicked on that shortcut. Uh, so instead, I went into uh, the directory under uh, Program Files, uh, the DOSBox folder, uh, and then the ZMBV, I think is the name of the codec, there's a folder for it. And if you go in there and uh, right click uh, on the INF file and then left click on Install, when I did that, it installed just fine. So if the, if the shortcut in the start menu gives you an error, try finding the INF file and right-clicking on it and left-clicking on install, and that should work for you.